morning. As you can see, I have changed the um, name of the channel to the franchise tag. Most valuable player, someone you don't want to trade. You know, we'll talk about that. But this is what's happening. The uh, 30 days to $2,500 Facebook group is going to be deleted. You will no longer have access to Hustlers Kung Fu. Um, we're, we're straightening up this stuff and I really feel pretty good about this um, because we're going in a more focused direction and I am kind of changing up how I am doing my course creation. Like yesterday, I redid the money management course because it needed to be done, redone and there was some confusion. And I created a new school, Savage, the Savage Financials. So there's the Savage Financials, Becoming a Corporate Citizen, and the, the School Ad Academy. So essentially anything that I do that is separate and distinct is going to have its own place because you know, spending that bread and finding and buying that data revealed a lot of problems in my process. So everything's gonna be more streamlined. Um, if you are at Hustlers Kung Fu, the courses are not going to disappear. They're not gonna disappear. Essentially, you will have access to them forever and ever. It's just no one else will have access to them. No one is gonna sign up to them. And also, I've had a lot of questions about the price and the disparity. All right, here, here's the thing. Everything that's in the corporate toolbox is going to be in the art of holding. And I'm going to add more to the art of holding. So it's not less than or the corporate toolbox light. It's going to include everything that the corporate toolbox had plus more. Uh, there's going to be a dedicated school to how to develop business credit. There's going to be so much more better. And to make up for the price differential, the people who pay for the corporate toolbox are also getting the YouTube super creative. Now, if you're signing up for the art of holding, you're not going to get that. You will get, because uh, one of the things I'm doing um, is I realized when I was coming up with my philosophy about money segmentation, this applies to more than just money. This applies to everything because one of the big problems that I had with Hustlers Kung Fu University Life Skills, there, there was just too much there. There was just too much. It was overwhelming. It was just too much. So going forward, I'm going to create lean, purpose-driven intent training portals like the Savage Financials. Right there, there's three courses. There's one course that's done. The money management course for civilians is done. And then there is going to be the money management course for uh, corporate citizens, which I will do today. And then tomorrow I'm going to work on the credit thing. And then uh, this weekend I'm going to get into the moving of the stuff over to the art of holding. And I'm being really strategic. I'm being intentional. I'm being deliberate. And the whole goal is to get this. You know, my goal is to the next five weeks are going to be really, really intense because I'm going to be creating new training and once again if you're in old corporate toolbox you don't have to pay anything you're going to get all this new training and i'm going to move over what makes sense to the art of holding and the business stuff and putting together that training so you know i'm pretty stoked about the transformation and the changes because essentially what spending that bread on the paid traffic revealed that my process had a lot of problems you know when we get into the training, because like this week I'm working on getting these things done so there's no live training, we will resume that next week. Um, I am just looking at, you know, putting the right training in the right place because, you know, um, Savage Finance, one of the trainings I'm doing is teaching you how to start a YouTube channel and hook up an online course to the YouTube channel. And part of that training is like this worked really well with Disruptive Mail. And in the future, there's gonna be some new training that's gonna come for disruptive mail. It's just, I got so much to do on this that that's gonna come later. But essentially, I am doing what I am teaching and I am moving away from hustle. Um, that's why the Facebook group has to disappear. That's why you will no longer have access to Hustlers Kung Fu University. And we're going to move into this space of creating sustainable business models. So, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions and emails because essentially the reason that the price is 1800 and it's lower is there's nothing there. 
and it's gonna take me about a month to really get up to speed. And then there's some more stuff that I'm thinking about doing and creating. So there's gonna be a, a space, there's gonna be time where I'm gonna be creating the training, working on the stuff and getting it up and running and rocking and rolling. And like, there's some people who bought the YouTube Creative and they came in through B-School for Hustlers. Understand, I'm not deleting anything. I'm not getting rid of anything. Uh, what you bought, you will have access to that and the new stuff. So there's nothing going away. There's nothing being deleted. There's nothing being removed, but I am going to clean up my kitchen, so to speak, you know, because essentially spending that money on those ads, I created a really good ad. I created a really good webinar and no one bought because the offer wasn't congruent. It didn't make any sense. And, you know, while I was sick, I was seriously thinking about all of this stuff. And I was just sitting there like, oh, okay. So that's what's wrong. And then a light bulb went off in my head. Like, okay, when you start running paid traffic to the corporate toolbox, you're going to run into the same problem. So instead of just waiting to that, you know, I just literally ripped apart my business, tore everything down, made some radical changes, changed the name of the YouTube channel, got rid of the Facebook group, getting rid of the free courses. Now let's talk about this. Uh, the free courses, I'm gonna have to create something else new in the future, but for the minute they're, they're about to go bye-bye. There will be no more free courses because Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills isn't in alignment with the training and the intent and the things I want to do for you guys. It, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't match up because like, you know, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, which I had a lot of fun creating, it, it turned into a hot mess. It just turned into a hot mess. So what we're going to do going forward is be clean, deliberate, and intentional. And I'm really, really excited because, you know, like the Savage Financials, uh, there will probably be some more stuff that's going to come there, but right now there's just going to be three things <clears throat> and I got to build those out. But um, one of the things that I find to be very, very interesting and something I can appreciate is this process of becoming an education. Because if you didn't know, I run a media company and an education company. That's what I've been doing for the last 12 years. And, you know, I am really aware of focus because like, you know, uh, there are some people who's like, Hey, you could buy crypto and everything. And like, okay, I'm not going to have those conversations anymore. I'm going to say for me, I'm going to speak for me that when I focus and I'm intentional and I'm purposeful, I make a lot of money. So I'm not going to be over here. I'm not going to go into trucking. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to focus on my business which is an online media company and an educational company. That's what I do. That is the core of my business. And I'm not over here doing this, and I'm not over here doing this. I'm going to focus, be really intentional, be purposeful, and be on my business. And there are many, many things that I am leaving alone. If you are a yard bird and you leave one of these crazy comments, it will be deleted, you'll be blocked, and we're gonna keep moving forward. We're going to move it forward. We're going to put together a certain level of training, a certain level of representation, and we're gonna leave all of the silly stuff behind because um, I will say this, for all you people who would like, you know, investing in crypto and running your business, um, if you spent a little money and just parked it in crypto and then focused on your business, you should be good. But if you're like many people who wanna have this argument about investing in crypto because they feel that they're gonna get rich, like that's that's the truth of the matter. You're not investing in it to, because of the blockchain technology, the underlying fundamentals. You're investing in it because you feel that it's gonna be a huge payday for you. So, and you're focused on it and you're watching this cryptos and you're doing, you know, and the crypto space is a huge investment of time. And this is one of the reasons that I'm not investing in crypto. I'm not investing in stocks. I'm, I'm going to be 100% for the next six months focused on my business. And I'm not going to go for these distractions. And you know, you can say what you want about me. You can, you can make all the videos, you can do whatever. Um, there will not be a response because history has shown me time and time again that when I focus on my business, when I actually focused on the storage auction business and I was intentional and purposeful, it grew. And I am in an incredible space and opportunity. 
Rupert Murdoch owns a media company and he's a billionaire. And there is Dave Ramsey runs a $300 million company talking about personal finance and 300 million. So I, my eye is on those things. That's where my, cause essentially I can turn this into a 30, 40, $50 million company if I focus on it and stay true to the course and do this thing because you know, I was watching this really bright and inspiring young man the other day. He's 24 years old. He's built a multi-million dollar trucking company and he employs, like he's got 21 employees and nine of the employees are family members. So he's built this, he's uplifted his family, very inspiring young man. And that's the kind of energy that I wanna be part of. I wanna be part of building sustainable businesses. I wanna be part of I want someone to say, hey man, you know, three years ago I came in, I took the art of holding, and now, you know, uh, I've got this multi-million dollar business, my wife is at home and my kids are homeschooled, thank you. You know, I want that kind of legacy. And with the hustle space, you know, once again, shout outs to JT Hustles, Raised Entrepreneur, the Black Hustlers Club, um, uh, B Rich, J Rich, all these young hustling people, and that was a space that I occupied for many, many years. And now I'm, I'm like, I'm doing a pivot. Uh, the content of this channel is gonna drastically change. It's going to be more in line with the future that I wanna create. So we're not going to be talking about hustling and you know, I'm gonna be talking about starting businesses with money, actually having some money in the bank and building up and creating legacies. So hopefully this answers your question. If you have a question, just drop it in the comments and the um, thing has changed under the YouTube videos. Uh, I need to do this again where I'm gonna get rid of all of those links and I need to work on making it where you can't sign up for, you know, B-School, you know, you can't sign up for um, Hustlers Kung Fu. I really like that name, um, but it is time to retire that. It is retire, it's time to move on. Uh, the two people that I had that was running the Facebook group, they're been instructed to start deleting people. So that's gonna disappear. And then, you know, we're gonna look at some other ideals and contents and things that will happen. Um, let's see, what else, what else? That's kind of it. Like if you got any questions or anything, cause a lot of people are kind of feeling that the art of holding is going to be the corporate toolbox light when it's going to include everything. It's just, you know, um, like yesterday, let me tell you what happened yesterday. Like yesterday, I created the new training for the money management course and I cleaned up some stuff and that literally took me six hours, almost seven, just to create that new training, to do the videos and to upload them to the course platform and there's 10 modules. So this isn't a quick process of, you know, cause there will be some things in the corporate toolbox that I can just download and move over. And there's things I'm gonna have to redo and make better. So that, that's my intention is to make this better, to address a lot of questions and stuff that I got. So it's gonna take some time, but rest assured, the art of holding will have everything plus more than the corporate toolbox. And once again, <clears throat> the corporate toolbox is there. You know, you, you, you have access to it. If you sign up for it, nothing's going to be deleted. Nothing's going to disappear and none of that stuff. Because um, one of the things that I've learned since creating courses and cre becoming an educator and running a media company, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, as a media company, I need to behave like a media company. Uh, I've got my Instagram account for Savage Finance growing. I need to do something with my Instagram account for Hustlers Kung Fu, probably change the name and then start putting some more business content there. So there's a lot to be done. There's a lot to be set up. There's a, you know, and I wanna be really, really strategic. I don't just want to do what people are doing. You know, like I said, the hustle space, there's a lot of really good dudes out there in the hustle space, a few women, and I am departing the hustle space because that's not what I do. I, I'm, I don't hustle. Uh, essentially, I run a corporation. I have myself on payroll. I mean, I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna flip your wig. Like the operating company, which is uh, Savage Consulting Services, that is the online course company. All that money that comes in that account, I just move it to the end of the month. 
I'm not even spending or utilizing that money because I'm just going to move it to the corporate, to the holding company end of the month. And um, the YouTube company, uh, that money gets utilized. So I'm being really pragmatic and strategic with what's going to come and what, you know, and there, there's probably going to be some new developments. There's probably going to be some new stuff that's going to pop off. But I am, like I said, I'm departing. I'm taking my talents to South Beach. You know, I'm getting out of here and I'm, I'm pretty happy about that because one of the things that once I made that decision, you know, and there was this movie called Confessions with Alec Baldwin and Ben Kingsley. And, he, and there was this one period in this movie where he says, it isn't that people don't know how to do the right thing. The question is, what is the right thing to do? Once they know, they do it. And that's kind of where I'm at because once I made that decision, you know, once I got that data that exposed the, the blind spots, the gaps, the problems in my process, and I just went ahead and looked at the whole process and I was like, you got that same problem over here with this product. So once you start running paid traffic to this product, you're gonna have the same problem. So we're just gonna do a big teardown and you know, I'm energized, I'm excited, I'm expectant. So I'm really happy about this. And you know, like I said, I'm taking my talents to South Beach like LeBron did many, many years ago. I I'm getting into a different space. Like I said, Dave Ramsey runs a $300 million company, 300 million. And you know, um, there have been people who've been talking about, you know, YouTube is not sustainable. Um, I'm going to speak to that. It may not be sustainable for you and it may not be sustainable for your vision, but I've been making money from YouTube for 11 years and nine months. That is longer than most of you have held a job. I mean, for me and what I know about the YouTube platform and what I know from my mastermind group and what's coming, uh, this is something I can do for another 10 years. So for me and what I know and the results that I've gotten, this is very, very sustainable. And I know that many of the Yardbirds like YouTube's going to do this. Uh, YouTube, once you understand YouTube on a deeper level, you wouldn't say things like that because uh, there, there are many people who, you know, uh, I had one yard bird was talking about, man, you just putting out this content to get views and to make money off of us. The vast majority of my money comes from service. It doesn't come from YouTube. And you got a lot of people who are deeply confused. And I will tell you with my assistant who does a lot of research, 99% of YouTube channels are built incorrectly. They're built incorrectly. They don't have a strategy. They don't have, they, they're just, they just like, they'll see their favorite YouTuber make a video about going to get coffee and hanging out with their friends. And they don't understand that channel was built in a time when that worked and they have a fan base so they can get away with, Hey, here's a video of me painting my toenails and they can get a million views because they built that fan base over time. And when they built their channel, the YouTube environment was different. So you're just sitting there like, Hey, I can just throw up anything on YouTube and it's going to work. And many people are finding out that's not the case because like, uh, I don't know if you remember back in the day, you can do a reply video to a YouTuber and it was built in a system where you would like do a reply. And there was this chick called reply girl and she had big boobs and she was pretty and she would just, and you know, cause she was, you know, pretty like, I, I'll give you another uh, instance of that trucking female truckers, check out the female trucking channels, the channels. There's this girl. I think she's Swedish, she's blonde, she's short, she's very feminine, she's really girly, she's a sweet girl. Her channel, 200, 300,000 subscribers in six months because she's pretty. So, and then there's another one, Kayla, back again with another trucking video. She and her lesbian girlfriend, their channel has done well. They have multiple channels. Um, but that's currently working right now. But is that going to work in the future? And this is one of the things is you have to become a student of YouTube and you have to study YouTube because it's always shifting. It's always changing. And, you know, I got a lot of people out here who are telling me stuff that I can go back and look at my bank account and like, well, that's wrong. I mean, <clears throat> right now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't spend my paycheck. My paychecks are just stacking up in my personal checking account. I don't spend my paychecks. Uh, first of March, I'm going to do another ATM video and it's going to be more money. And essentially this is where I'm at. I'm in the 
early, I'm in the old Grant Cardone school, the old Grant Cardone, not the new crazy over the top Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone, I'm, I'm stacking money for a future investment. I want to buy an apartment complex and I want to go in there to the good. And what I mean by that is I don't want to finance it in barely cash flow. I want to go in there and put a significant amount of down, if not be able in the position to buy it outright and get all that cash flow. So that's what I'm doing. You know, that's why I'm not investing in real estate and I'm not investing in stocks. And I don't want to be dismissive. If you are making $50,000 a year and you're a good steward of your money, and you don't have no debt and you don't have no car payments and you're investing a good percentage of your money in the stock market or whatever investment that you got kudos to you congratulations uh that ain't my situation i am working with way more money than you are and some people get upset when i say that i make more money than most people I, you know you don't get upset when you see a, a lion chase down a, a deer and eat the deer because the lion is faster and bigger it's just facts so my situation is dramatically different from the average person's situation. This is why, you know, if I was a regular person, I might be seduced by crypto because of the, the promise of crypto, but because I make more money in a week than the average person makes in a year, it's, it's, a, it's a different different framework. It's a different groove. It's a different perspective. So I will let some cash pile up in my corporate accounts and I will let some cash pile up in my personal accounts because I have a financial device that cranks out cash every week, every month, every year. So, you know, I will be getting to the investor class, but I want to move into the investor class with some real money because, you know, I, you know, luxuries once tasted become necessities. So I'm a used to and accustomed to a certain kind of revenue stream. And, you know, I made a shout out to this dude. We talked about rentals and he paid cash for both his houses and he's making like 4,000 a month. Congratulations. That's really commendable. And that's kind of the situation. I don't want to buy a rental and have a mortgage on it. And you know, the mortgage is 1200 and I can get rent of 1400. So I'm paying 1200 to the bank and I'm putting 200 in an escrow account because the house is gonna need issues, you know, things repaired. That's not exciting to me. If that works for you, God bless you and go on my good man and good, good woman, do what you need to do. But that, that, that ain't exciting to me because, and you know, this is one of the things I looked at real estate because I was looking at buying a property for 450,000 and I was gonna be able to get long-term rents of 3,500. And I was looking at that and I was like, it's gonna take 10 years for you to get your initial investment back unless the house dramatically appreciates and then I do a cash out refi. Um, I, I just looked at that and I just looked at that and I'm used to a higher return. So I need to be in some big boy investments so I can get some big boy returns. And I am willing to sit on my cash for a while, a year or two, whatever, whatever it may be, so I can get into that bigger investment. And that's what I'm gonna do because I'm really determined, I'm really focused, and I'm not going to be moving over here. Like once again, if you know you buying a rental or you buy a house then you move out the house and you turn your former residence into a rental and you do that three or four times and that works for you god bless you congratulations i'm just saying that ain't that ain't for me that's just not for me um you know i, I don't know if i've talked about this before but my plan is to get a million a year in passive income and i know for me to get that i'm going to have to spend a grip I'm going to have to put myself in a position because that's where I want to be. Um, I want to be in a million a year in passive income. So at the age, I am 54 years old right now. I'll be 55 this year. I'll be doing the speed limit. It's kind of crazy. Um, so in 11 years, I want to give myself the opportunity. If I was like, you know what? I don't want to do this no more. And I want to just sit down. I got a million dollars a year of passive income coming in. And one of the things in this 11 year window is I'm not going to saddle myself up with a lot of debt. If I can borrow money and use that money to make money, I will do that. 
But on the personal level, in 11 years, you know, I already pay cash for my cars. I already, in uh, the next house, I'm probably gonna pay cash for that. So on the personal side, I'm not gonna have a lot of expenses. So that million dollars passive income, I'm gonna be able to ball out. I'm gonna be able to take trips. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be able to do whatever I wanna do. And that's the plan. That's the vision. That's the franchise tag. That, that's where I wanna go. And that name may or may not change. Just depends upon how it goes and this new content that we put out. But yeah that that's what we're doing man that's what we're doing so hopefully you have a good day uh the art of holding the youtube super creative and the savage financials <clears throat> all of those links are below and you can get in there and pretty much with the savage financials the personal money management for civilians is done and then today i'll be working on uh, money management for corporate citizens and then i will be working on the credit course uh, this weekend today is wednesday yeah so each day I have an agenda to do some stuff. So the next five weeks are going to be really, really intense for me as I create this new training and as I realign certain things and I move certain things over. Because essentially, I know it sounds like an easy thing, but moving content from one training portal to another is a process. And it's a time consuming process because you got to download the video, you got to upload the video, you got to make sure it renders. This, this takes hours and hours and hours and hours. And this is why I'm just like giving myself five weeks to get this done versus just saying, Hey, it's going to be done like this and everything. Um, so essentially what I want to do is create intentional, purposeful and helpful training for you guys. And that's what we're going to do. And we're, we're no longer in hustle land. I may not even use that word that much going forward. So everything's below and I will see you guys in the next video.